lovelies, welcome back to another video. So this is the start of a very, very exciting vlog, very exciting time in my life. This is my first um, trip to go travelling with Luke. I've literally just dropped him off with my bag because he's sitting down while I go and found like a place. It's a little bit more quieter to film. But yeah, so we are going to be flying into Copenhagen and then so we're doing Denmark, Sweden and then Norway with like a slight crossover into Sweden and of our trip. But yeah, so I thought I'd stop at the airport. We did travel up to Stansted. Um, yesterday to stay in a hotel because obviously we'll be travelling down from Coventry and well it just wasn't really possible in the morning about half six in the morning something like that um, but yes I am actually um, filming little snippets of little TikToks in the airport before I can like finish them off when I'm um, when I'm abroad but yeah I'm so excited we just had to down our um, yogurts and stuff we went through security really excited and I will um, probably talk to you next when in Copenhagen or maybe at the hotel I'm not really too sure but yes ah, I'm just like super super excited let's let's just get let's get stuck into the book We have slightly looked around, um, sort of like the city centre. Basically, all we did was go to a 7 Eleven and get some snacks. I love a 7 Eleven, honestly. It's just one of my favourite shops. And then we had a little walk around, but not for too long, maybe like half an hour, because our backpacks are so heavy, it's ridiculous. And now we've just got to our hostel and we've sort of like just checked in, uh, got them ready, and we are going to be heading out very shortly. Yeah, just have a little, little bit of an explore. And we're going to be going to this like sort of like fun fair gardens food type place. And I'm going to put up the location on the screen and everything like that, obviously, as we go. So you know everywhere we're going, just in case there's something that you really want to do when you're here. Other than that, I will uh, put in some little snippets of things that we do. And, um, yeah, I probably will speak next, I reckon, at night time when we're going to go on a few rides and stuff. Gardens, um, there's been like the arcades, been food, there's been rides. What else has there been? Yeah, so we're really sleepy and we're on these like giant, um, <laughs> do you know what these are? Deck chairs. Yes, um, and we're just chilling here because we want to go see there's like an Illumin, what's it called? Illumin Illuminati. Illuminati. Illum what's it called? 
Basically, it's the Illuminati. They're gonna. They're gonna... A light show, basically. Um, illumination. That's illuminating. Um, doing like a little show, but it's on at half nine. We're so tired. What? So um, it's eight o'clock now. I've got an hour and a half um, to wait. So we're just gonna chill here for a bit because our legs. This is sharp. Oh. Can't see. It I says sharp, see. but oh. from here it says sharp. I looked. I was like. So um, yes, I sort of thought I'd give you an update. And yeah, so probably just gonna chill here. I'll get some get some videos of the show, and then we're just gonna head back and maybe shower. Well, I'm probably gonna shower anyway. And don't out me like that. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna shout. Well, um, I'm gonna shout. No, I just meant you Luke's not. Luke stinks. <laughs> We're both gonna shout. Okay, okay. And then go to sleep. And then, yeah, wake up really, really early for a breakfast. Um, so, yeah, I will chat to you tomorrow morning. Enjoying like, the palace and stuff that I've shown you, and we're now at the zoo. Um, I haven't really spoken much because I was trying to fit as much as I can in today because we're leaving tomorrow. Um, and we're now going to be at uh, Dino Zoo. So, yes, yeah, so we're just going to be looking around here for a number of hours, and then I'll keep you guys updated as to what we're doing in the evening. Uh, but, yeah, enjoy the zoo.
to get in the supermarket and we're finding like some nice snacks to have and try. Trying some treats and they're really cool. So these are treats. We've got some brownie cake and a chocolate circle bomb thing. Um, and we've got some, I don't know if you can see, I've got some salami sticks and some jalapeno ones. So, yeah, spicy salami and jalapeno salami. And uh, yeah, all this food, so we're just gonna taste it now on the bus. <laughs> Hobbit on his journey. Mr. Frodo. <laughs> Mr. Frodo, I, I, think, I think we've gone the wrong way. Mr. Frodo. Oh, yeah, well, I might as well do an update while I'm here. Um, this, well, we think this is the Hans Christian Gardens. Um, that's what we think, anyway. We've seen the statue, so we're just trying to. It's been raining. Hold on, let me turn you around. Oh, I've got massive panda eyes. Look at me. Hi. It looks like I'm wearing a mask on. Um, what, Zorro? There we go, that's a little bit better, isn't it? Um, I literally can't see. Yeah, it was literally pouring a rain and now we've found a garden, but the sun's come out, so we're, we can't check until four and it's 12. So we're just killing time with our giant heavy backpacks. Oh, yeah, that's the sitch. Castle, and have a look around, and then we're going to come here again um, tomorrow night because it's so good. Um, but yeah, um, I will probably catch you uh, tomorrow now, so enjoy tomorrow. Hello, today we're going to the castle, which I'm going to be showing you very, very shortly. Uh, technically, I've already been, uh, but I'm just going to be doing an intro now. Is yeah, really beautiful gardens. The castle was really beautiful. I didn't enjoy inside as much as I thought I was going to, but it was still worth it because the whole thing took, what, three? About three and, three and a half, half hours. And there was like little things like you can go through the maze, you can go sort of like climb up this staircase and almost do, do you know what, like go apes type of thing where you like walk through the trees? It's kind of like that, which is like really cool. There's lots of different things. So if you are in Odense, do recommend it. But yeah, so we've just got back, we've got lunch. I've had some chili cheese sticks and I'm gonna go in with a, Get yogurt. So yeah, then we're just going to chill out for a couple of hours before heading out for dinner. But yes, I hope you enjoy the little snippets and I'll speak to you maybe later or tomorrow. I'm not too sure. <laughs>
what day is it? It's Sunday today. Of course, I'm shower gel, no shampoo in my hand. Um, yeah, so we're now in our house. Yes, yeah, so we've just travelled from Odense and we've arrived, we've checked in. It's about half 12. Um, yes, yeah, so we're just sort of like looking around the town. Again, I think it's like quite small, maybe bigger than Odense, but still quite small. There's nothing crazy to do here. The reason why we decided to add this to our journey is a bit of fluff on my hat, is um, because apparently they've got really good street food here and obviously we're foodies, we're like, okay, we're gonna test it out, see what's good. Um, so yeah, so that's the plan. So we're just gonna explore today. I'm expecting to do too much today, just more of like a relaxed day. And um, we are doing, yes, yeah, so we're just buying some like toiletries and stuff like that. And then I'm gonna try and find the street food market for a little bit later. So hopefully we'll find it and hopefully I can um, show you some videos. Also this morning, let me show you a picture of my cake because it was the tastiest cake ever. <laughs> it's my favorite cake, I really enjoyed it. Um, yeah, I don't think there's too much else to say apart from enjoy the day with us. <laughs> I'll show you this little hostel. <laughs> you've got a bed there and you've got like a little bunk bed here. They're absolutely gross because there is a fly, dead fly on the wall. Um, but yeah, it's so small, but like, I mean, it definitely looks like a prison cell. But I don't know, I just thought it was kind of cute at the same time. <laughs> We've just had a little look around and we found the street food that we're gonna go to tonight. We just thought, we'll just take a pre-look, do you know what I mean? Uh, to see what it is. And oh my God, it is absolutely amazing. Maybe even better than Odense actually. So we're really excited to try that out. I think I'm gonna have like a duck burger, maybe something on the side. It's just, it's really hard to choose. Um, yes, yeah, so we're really excited for that. I'm sure you've seen um, a few snippets of some, I don't know, just around the town center and stuff. It's actually like a really nice river that like runs through it. Yeah, it's really, really nice here. But again, there's just not too much to do. It was more just coming here just for a day, just seeing this, City, seeing sort of like the town centre and getting some tasty food and then moving on to the next place. Um, this hotel, this hostel actually, so this is a hostel and there's so many like cool things to do here. Like they have like a mini golf section throughout the hostel, um, which is really cool. They have a sauna here. We're going to do some washing to, because we've, well, we've been here less than a week, but we've, yeah, gone through quite a lot of washing. So, um, and then obviously we, we do it together because the washing machines are quite small. So we thought we'll do some washing tonight. And then at least if there's not a washing machine in like the next set of hostels, then at least we've done that. So uh, yeah, bought some toiletries. So that's kind of like the things that we've been doing today. Nothing too crazy, it's a bit more chill, but like I said, we kind of wanted that because we've been so hectic the last, I don't know, six days, five, six days. Yeah, of course, as always, I will show you what the food is like later. And then I think that's pretty much all there is to sort of show you. And then we are doing a day trip to Alborg, I think it is tomorrow. We're just spending half of the day there and then we're going straight to a place called Frederiksen. I think that's how it's pronounced, I'm not too sure. And we're literally just staying there. Obviously we're gonna have like a little look around, but actually it's more of like a port. So there's nothing really to do there. We're just um, camping there for the night before we get on the ferry. Um, and then we're gonna go over to Sweden and then that will be the end of this um, vlog actually, because I'm gonna do Denmark in one, then Sweden in another and then Norway in another vlog. But yeah, we're really, really excited. So I will probably, I'll show you some clips now of the food, because it's gonna be for in literally one second for you guys, but a number of hours for us. And then yeah, I will probably speak to you tomorrow. Mm. So I just went and bought um, uh, what's it called duck, it's a burger called Duck Me. Um, obviously, it is filled with duck, and it is the best burger I've ever had in my life by far. It was so tasty. Um, so I just went round and got the exact same thing again, another burger. It may not look like much, but it's yeah, absolutely amazing. And Luke got a burger and chicken. What's the chicken strips? Fried chicken. Fried chicken. The fried chicken was the best chicken I've ever had in my life. And uh, Luke's now gone for a curry. So they haven't eaten this because this street market is insane. Like I wish he was thinking, is it worth coming like to a place like this just for like a street market? 
it absolutely is it is the best oh my god anyway i'm gonna eat this because yeah i'm still absolutely hungry because it's so good oh my god we are on monday i'm honestly losing track of days and times and like it is yeah it's, it's just it's just crazy out here and we are waiting at the train station as, as you can tell as usual we've just had breakfast i've got a we've got a chocolate protein milk shake thing and i also was a bit naughty and got a um orange chocolate milkshake <laughs> so just chocolate for breakfast um yeah so we're now heading off to Alborg for half a day I think in order like i'm most excited for norway then sweden then denmark so it's, we're sort of like doing it backwards so hopefully it was, the highlights will get better and better but obviously denmark could be imagine if like denmark was my favorite crazy but anyway yeah so good morning and i will show you what we're going to do at Alborg when we get there i'm pretty sure there's not too much to do again that's why we're doing half day um, but we, we've researched that apparently there again is really really good food which is why we're going so yeah I will show you the food that we get um, and yeah I will speak to you soon so we've made it to the food market and it is closed and this is obviously as I said the only reason why we came here um, here's Luke um, yes yeah, so it was open Thursday to Sunday and it's Monday so and we had to walk like 35 minutes to get here with our massive bags and loads of bottles of water so we're not happy which, so we're which, taking a break which, which luke carried not all the way part of the way and then yeah so we're gonna be going well we're gonna go to 7-eleven which is one of our favorite places cheese to be fair. sticks cheese, cheese sticks to cheer us up get a little snack um sit down take a break and then we're literally just going to go straight on the train and go to Frederick Chauvin, see if we can check in just to get rid of our bags. And obviously there's not much to do there as well, but at least we can hopefully not have our bags and just have a little look around. Yeah, we're a little bit sad because we made this journey specifically for this food place. And these, basically the itinerary that we got this from, this idea, didn't specify. So yeah. But it does to be fair, it says new. It says so new what? opening time, so it's probably changed. New opening times, if you go on the Alborg, don't come here on a Monday, Tuesday, or Wednesday. Yeah. It's closed. There's nothing else to do. Yeah. But like, I was thinking, like, Luke made a joke about it, like, uh, when we're five minutes away, about five, ten minutes away from this place, and we, I was thinking, no, obviously it's open because, like, in London, for example, like everything's open, obviously every single day. So nah, it's got it's gone lunchtime, you know. And then it's obviously, Monday. I checked like a few minutes before we got here, and I was like, it actually says it's closed. <sighs> I can't believe it the the main reason why we came with this literally nothing else to do here nothing yeah anyway we're gonna take a break and um i'll probably <laughs> oh, yeah. keep updated when we get to the hotel or food or something i don't know but yeah so we are now at the hostel um at frederick chauvin what is going on with my hair? I do not know. Um, yeah, e e excuse the face and everything. Um, actually, this looks like a cute little like, coastal town. A lot nicer and maybe a lot of like nicer buildings and stuff to look around than we expected. So I think we're going to go, well, I'm just waiting for Luke and then we're going to go for a nice walk, I think. Um, there is like a really long walk where it's going to take you to like this nice viewpoint. Um, I think it's like a 50 minute walk one way. So we might do it, we might not. Uh, we've got a really early start tomorrow because that's obviously when we're getting the ferry to Sweden. So I guess we'll just see how we feel. And I think for dinner, we haven't even tried like the McDonald's yet. And I think, I don't know, I like trying McDonald's in different countries because it tastes so different and sometimes you get something like really really cool so I think we're gonna do that tonight as well yeah nothing too crazy I'm just, honestly I'm still a little bit gutted about Alborg still probably gonna be one of those ones where I'm like oh that's so annoying um because I feel like there might have been like some other places which was so cool to visit in Denmark but we didn't because we thought that would be like you know have the right amount of places to look at so that's the reason why I'm a little bit gutted but yeah anyway I need to go over it. Um, yeah, so we're going to go to have a little explore in a little bit. I think we're just going to chill for a moment or so, you know. Um, and hopefully I can get some really cool videos and stuff of the coast um, to show you. And then pretty much, yeah, like I said, going to get some food. And then early night again tonight. And then I start my next vlog tomorrow. So I will catch you guys soon. Mwah. So 
am literally just going to um, a shop called Photex, I think it's pronounced, I'm not too sure, um, to get breakfast. Luke is showing the hotel room. And this is the last bit of my Denmark vlog. Oh my God, I've literally had the best time. I've been at Alborg. Mm. I've had the best time. Honestly, like the sites here have been great. Like there's like lots of little mini city breaks in one. That's how it felt like for us. Yes, yeah, sorry, I know there's lots of cars and stuff, so I've got to for the noise. Um, but yeah, like I said, it's been absolutely amazing and I am very much looking forward to getting on the ferry in a couple of hours and moving on to Sweden, which I'm sure you'll see in a number of days time when I've uploaded it. So I really hope you enjoyed this vlog, guys. I do, I do apologize because I know like a lot of my filming, um, like, I, yeah, I just got a few seconds here, a few seconds there. Like it wasn't massively great vlogging, but at the same time, like I want to enjoy as much as I can here. I do like half film and half not if that makes sense but I hope you enjoyed it either way take care guys stay safe I'll see you in the next video